Toral Shah was 29 when she discovered she had breast cancer. Her mother had been diagnosed with the same disease just six years earlier. For Toral, it meant a mastectomy and painful reconstructive surgery, a nightmare she hopes other women could be spared if this vaccine proves effective. Obviously, lots of work needs to be done yet. They need to test the drug in um, humans for, in long-term clinical trials. But there is a potential that, given that one in nine at the moment, or coming up to almost one in eight women, will be diagnosed with breast cancer at the current rate, it means that so many women will be spared the, the treatment of breast cancer and the surgery, which is really quite um, horrific. The drug's being developed in the US. So far, it's only been tested on mice. The scientists say the results of a single dose have been overwhelmingly favorable in both preventing cancer and shrinking existing tumors. The model here is polio and measles and smallpox. Um, these diseases have essentially been uh, almost eradicated by uh, early childhood vaccination. And we want to repeat that model uh, for adult diseases like breast cancer. In theory, women would be given the vaccine alongside another drug, a so-called adjuvant, to boost their immune response. The vaccine makes the body attack a protein called alpha-lactalbumin, which is found in most breast cancer cells. The problem is it's also found in the mammary tissue of breastfeeding women. As a result, the vaccine would be aimed at women over 40, the age when cancer risk rises and pregnancy rates fall. Scientists say younger women could also be offered the drug as an alternative to surgery. In Britain, breast cancer kills 12,000 women every year. And cancer charities have cautiously welcomed the results. We do have to look at these results with a degree of caution at the moment. Uh, this research has been carried out in the laboratory, but we would like to see clinical trials in women to see if the vaccine is effective and also safe. And these trials can take many years and have to go through many stages. So we are still quite a long way off. Human trials could begin in 2011. Torrell's now been cancer-free for four years. With her family history, she hopes there'll be a vaccine for her future children, a future so many women never lived to see. Simon Newton, Sky News.